New at 11, city and school officials as well as parents meet tonight with concerns. New Bedford's taking on the issue of violence in their schools after a number of reported incidents over the past several months. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan is live in New Bedford with the story New at 11. Tonight, city council members heard from concerned parents as well as the president of the teachers union about the issues going on in New Bedford public schools. And the goal was to try and find solutions for teachers because right now many are too afraid to speak. This infamous video made the rounds on the internet. A New Bedford high school student throwing a chair at his teacher for confiscating his cell phone. That teacher, who no longer works at New Bedford High School, spoke at Thursday night's council meeting. He came around my desk and tried to open the door. He picked up a chair and whipped it at the wall. Um, he didn't hit me because the desk was between me and the wall. Um, he then took his arm and knocked everything off my desk. Not wanting to show her face, she understands why teachers might be too afraid to speak up about what's going on. I think that um, the philosophy now is to keep the kids in the classroom no matter what. They don't want to deal with discipline issues because it's looked upon as a failure by the school department, which it is. The council heard from the teachers union president who suggested more alternative schools, not as a means of punishment, but rather to offer the services and help to that small percentage of the student population. Council was all ears. Basically what we have to do in my eyes, and again, we need to get the information from the teachers. Teachers are the ones who are bringing up our children. And if we don't get that information, we don't, we can't find those alternatives. So there was no vote this evening. It was just discussion for council members. Also, the superintendent was invited to this meeting this evening. However, she was not present. Reporting live in New Bedford with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.